Hey crafty cuties, today's video is a little bit different and we are going to make these really cute botanical envelopes together, but this video is not really a tutorial. I was putting these envelopes together for my Patreon members and I wasn't planning to film on this day. Um, I was just enjoying my time so much here in my new craft studio that I still wanted to turn the camera on. Now I've never been a fan of doing videos where I just have music playing, but lately I have found myself kind of liking those types of videos, like just really cozy, um, I don't know, laid back craft videos where people are doing more of a vlog style video. So I thought I would give it a try. This is definitely not going to be my new style or anything like that, but I am just feeling such a new inspiration in my new craft studio and I know that not everyone will get the luxury to move into a space that they love but I kind of wanted to just talk a little bit while you can see what I'm doing here because like I said this is easy enough to follow along without me explaining what I'm doing but um, if you didn't know for the last four or five years I've actually been crafting and filming all of my videos in my kitchen at my old house, but um, we lived in a really small house. It was a, maybe barely a thousand square feet, and so obviously there was no space for me to have all of my craft items. So they were just in a closet that was in our front room. It was easy enough to tuck away and hide that mess. But not all of it fit in there because you, you know, I have a lot. So the rest of it was like above our cupboards in our kitchen. And I even took over a couple of the kitchen drawers. And it just always felt really, really, um, I don't know, it just felt messy. And it's really hard for me to have a clear mind and feel inspired when I am feeling like overwhelmed with a mess around me but I did make it work and that's kind of my point of bringing that all up is that you know we might not all have the perfect space to create but I feel like as long as you are putting your heart into what you're doing and you know having the the best that you can um surroundings for your little craft or creations or whatever it is you like to create um, some people like to have more of just everything out in front of them to see and some people need to have it more organized and sometimes we just have to make the best of what we can with what we have and um, I'm just so happy that I was able to make it work for the last four or five years. I feel like I've really grown my business and it really honestly never felt like a struggle in the moment, except for, like I said, I didn't really have enough space and everything did feel a little, a little chaotic at times and not as organized as I wanted, but I did, you know, my best to keep it as organized. I did a lot of organizing videos on this ch channel. Um, if you wanted to see my setup, I can link below one of the last videos I did. And hopefully soon enough, I will be able to show you my new craft studio. It's still a work in progress. I'm not gonna wait until it feels like perfect to show you guys, because I don't know if that ever happens. <laughs> but once I get everything put away and into its spot and I still need to hang a few things up I will definitely be doing a new craft studio tour and yeah I am feeling just an extra burst of inspiration in my creativity and that's why I wanted to just share a little bit different style video with you guys today so I hope that you guys enjoyed it and yeah, I hope that you're able to just make your area or your space work for you. I mean, like I said, so many people definitely don't have a craft studio, but I was just working on the, the area in my kitchen 
And so if you have just a small space in front of you, I think that you can create, you can do whatever it is you want to do. And that's about it. So I am thankful that you guys have been so patient with me as I do figure out my new filming setup. Like that's gonna take some time as well. It's not perfect, even this video is a bit dark, but um, th the day I was filming this, it was really cloudy and gloomy, so that was to be expected, but I definitely hope to get my lighting and filming set up um, to a point where I at least feel very happy with it. I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to that stuff, my husband is, and so we'll probably go somewhere in between of feeling like it's a perfect setup and just like wanting to go because I can't be stopped guys. I love creating and I love sharing with you guys and nothing's gonna stop me. Well guys, like I said, I hope you have a lovely day. Let me know if you end up making some of these botanical envelopes using book pages like I did. If you do want a more in-depth um, tutorial where I actually talk through what I'm doing, let me know. I've probably made a video like this before using book pages, but I have some really fun things coming for you guys in the next few months, and I can't wait to share that with you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.